Hi everyone. In this tutorial we will learn how to download and build responsive admin panels using one of the Creative Tim's themes. We first have to go to the Creative Tim website. With over 238 products, here you can find everything you need. The main page of our site includes the featured products, popular freebies, bundles, and the latest products. In this course, we will work with Soft UI Dashboard. We can search it using our navbar's design system category. Here we will find all the products that are made using soft design. This is one way to find the product that you need. Another way is by searching using our search bar on our home page. Here we can type exactly what product do we need. Let's search for soft UI dashboard. Here is our searched product. By clicking on it we go to the main page of the product, where we can preview, see details and download the product. Now, click on the download button and get the product archive. After we download the product and unarchive it, let's see what files we have inside. In the assets folder, we have the fonts, javascript, images, and style files. Here we will do the style changes later, using the scss file. We also have the change log, license, gulp file, media, and pages. In the package.json, we have the dependencies that we need to install the project. Now, let's install the product. First, navigate to the root directory of the project. After this, run npm install to install our local dependencies. Now, run Gulp Open App for opening the main page of the product. Now, we can start editing our project. We will make some small changes, like adding elements and editing colors. Let's see how we can change the rose colors available in these cards. Open the project in the code editor. In the assets scss folder, we have the variables.scss file. Here we have the primary theme colors, including light and dark. Also, here we have the gradients colors, the ones we need to change for our cards. For example, let's change the primary gradient to another color and see what happens. We can see that the right primary gradient color changed to gray. Let's now change the left primary gradient color. Refresh the page again and now we can see that the gradient changed totally from rose to gray. As simple as that. Now, let's see how we can change the text on this card. We need to go to the dashboard page, available in the pages folder. Here, let's search for today's money, the text on the first card. Let's change it to today's revenue the sum to $74,000 and the percent to 63. Now, let's see the changes on the dashboard page. This time, let's change this icon's background. Let's change the primary gradient to the success one and see the change on our card. Now, our card has new texts and its icon has a new look. Now, let's use the bootstrap grid system to change this row from 4 to 6 cards, so we can add more data to our dashboard. To do this, we have to change the classes on the extra large screens, from 3 to 2. Let's change these classes for the first 4 cards, and after that add 2 more cards so we can fill the row with a number of 6 cards. For the last 2 cards, we can add any pieces of information, such as email status, orders delivered, or any data that fits your use case and we will do that in our next videos.